The topic of breast density comes up a lot these days when women talk about mammograms. Dr. Carrie Chandler is a breast imaging radiologist at Wake Radiology, and she's here today to talk to us and help us better understand breast density. Dr. Chandler, thank you for joining us. Let's start by simply defining what it means to have dense breast tissue. What it means to have dense breasts is it is telling you about the relative proportions of fibroglandular tissue, mm -hmm. that's the breast ducts and the milk-making tissue of the breast, okay. versus fatty tissue. And when you have dense breasts, what it means is that 50 over 50% of the tissue in the breast is denser fibroglandular tissue. And that's all it means. Really, that elevated risk is not definitely defined for three quarters of the women, mm -hmm. real, actually 80% of the women, that have denser tissue. There has been some studies that have found that their risk may be as high as four times more than, say, the average risk of everyone grouped together. So when you're in the very high risk factors, that tends to be people who have the Breast, what we, what's called in the lay press and everywhere mm -hmm. else, the breast cancer gene. So right. this, this is people who have breast cancer at a very young age and it runs strongly in families, okay? okay? Usually before menopause they have breast mm -hmm. cancer. Um, or, or you have multiple, say, first degree relatives, meaning uh, mother or sister or uh, even daughter with breast cancer and you have dense breasts. Um, Third, if you've had any kind of radiation to your chest wall okay. or other to treat other cancers, mm -hmm. usually. Astonishingly enough, just having a personal history of breast cancer does not push people into the high risk they okay. are only mo They are moderately elevated risk, okay? So if you had a mastectomy, you're not necessarily high risk. For instance, if they have a high risk for getting breast cancer and also have dense mm -hmm. breasts, then I personally think then uh, kind of a routine program of screening with breast MRI is appropriate. Mammography still is part of these, these, all of these protocols mm -hmm. because there are, there are signs of mammography that just can't be duplicated with the, any of these other modalities, okay. so they do not replace mammography. And then lastly, um, which hasn't been studied as much yet because it's a newer, uh, a newer area, is what we call breast tomosynthesis or what, what we're calling 3D mammography. Okay. I like 3D mammography in this situation, but really more study is needed. But I do know one thing. 3D mammography, first of all, can be done at the time of your regular screening mammogram and, in fact, does not add any more discomfort than the mammogram. Okay. There is compression. But what it does is, instead of making four flat pictures of mm -hmm. the breast, it takes multiple slices through the okay. breast. So it, it is a more, you're able to see things in the breast without other things overlapping, okay? And so the early data is that the cancer detection rate in all breast densities, including fatty, are significantly mm -hmm. increased. And the recall rate and us finding things that don't matter mm -hmm is less, so what we're doing is we're, it's more specific and more sensitive okay. in many ways. I think that's gonna be the answer for, for bre dense okay. breasts and all breast densities in the end. I think it's going to eventually replace regular mammography. And so I do encourage women who have dense breasts to have a 3D mammogram. Mm -hmm. I think that we need to look at other imaging modalities and, and in fact it is recommended uh, for people who have dense breasts and either high risk or moderately increased risk for breast cancer. The reason why I like 3D imaging is it gets rid of a lot of our problems with the overlap of the, the uh, it gets rid of that kind of the snowstorm, the, the background right. snowstorm so right. I can find the snowball. To learn more about the topics that Dr. Chandler discussed today and to schedule your routine screening mammogram, feel free to visit us on the web at wakerad.com.